Yo, it's your boy Dom, and I'm sitting here interviewing Rob. I see this nigga has so many names, y'all don't know what to call him. But the uh, infamous Rob Long. Yes, sir, what's up with the people? What's up with the pranks? What's up? I'm chilling, man. I got Rob in here, man. This this interview when I got him in here on the uh, on the on the humble. He ain't stopped over on the humble or whatnot. Love, love, you know? love. Came through. So I'm uh I said let me do an interview for him. I try I was about to get him to spit some bars for y'all though, cause That's tough. Well, I got some bars for y'all though. He 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 not the I'm gonna spit bars type, but his music he he, he he put it in his music though, man. So, you know, we got I got a couple questions with him right now. You know, a couple questions. This is just on the spur of the moment. You know, uh first question is, you know, how long you been doing music, all right? Mm. That's a good one, man. Uh how long I've been around music, that's what I say. Uh I've been around music all my life and like uh it started at a very young age for me, man, from like mom dudes buying karaoke machines and you know what I'm saying, me being able to record myself and then even me being able to, you know what I'm saying, listen to Ursha Raymond back in the day, singing my way and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a youth, you know what I'm saying, it, it just carried on to what it is now, you know what I'm saying. So hopefully, the, hopefully it becomes bigger, you know. So right. the Usher Raymond. Yeah, Usher Raymond. My, sure. my way, yeah. That was, that was my song. At Seven o'clock on the dot. <laughs> Drop top. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Big ups to Usher. For sure. Okay. Uh, so, did you have any heroes growing up? type of heroes, man. Uh, as far as like, what, like celebrity heroes or? Well, whatever you uh, see as a hero. You say growing up. I mean, Dr. Martin Luther King, that's that's a bit, that's a hero of mine. If we, we want to talk about somebody that's heroic, you know what I'm saying, that had a lot of courage, you know what I'm saying? It take a strong person to do non-violence when you're getting rocks, you know what I'm saying, thrown at you multiple times and you're just being courageous, you know what I'm saying, to turn the cheek and do what's best, yeah, Dr. Martin Luther King, for sure. For sure, Dr. Martin Luther King. Can't argue on that one. Show here, bro. He on me too, you know what I'm saying, for real. For sure. Like, now, if you could uh, live anywhere in the world, what would it be? Oh, I like that. I, I had to say Hawaii, minus the volcanoes. They minus the volcanoes. Hawaii. Most beautiful oh. place I think ever created, man. And, uh, you ever been there though? One time. Okay, so you've been there the whole One time. Uh, what would your perfect murder weapon be and why? Ah, gotta incriminate myself. <laughs> you can plead the fifth. These these questions are already had, I man. If you want to play the fifth, you can play the fifth, man. Right? Man, they won't never know it's me anyway. I never told on myself. For sure. But the perfect murder weapon is the 38 special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's all you need. <laughs> That's all you need. Oh, just, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? That's all you need. Do what you got to do. Put them shells away. <laughs> Tuck, tuck the joint away for another day and you good, you good to go. That's all you need, man. Perfect weapon. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, uh, I got another question here. If you could steal credit for any piece of art, song, film, book, etc., which one would you claim? Oh, Lil Wayne, what's up with you, man? I got this song called Let It All Work Out. And, um... Like, I know I ain't the creator of it. It was a great sample. Matter of fact, shout out to Sampha through the Drake camp, OVO, you know what I'm saying? That was a great sample, man. Uh, let it all work out. I actually got a song like it 
You know what I'm saying? And people hear my song and be like, man, dang, Wayne stole your song. So, you know, Wayne, I just want to let you know, man, I understand you're one of the greatest. But yeah, let it all work out. That's one of them songs that I would like to get the credit for. For sure. For sure. Let it all work out. That's definitely a banger, though, yeah, by yes, Rob sir. Long. Appreciate it. Let it all work out by Rob Long. It's definitely a banger, y'all. Make sure y'all check that out. Video coming soon, too. We can get it together. It's coming soon, man. It's been in the works. For sure. For sure. Rob been on me about the damn video, y'all. That's why he just said that. He said, oh, yeah, he asked me the perfect question. That was the perfect question. There it go. He said, uh, also, uh, if you could tell your younger self something, what would it be and why? I can tell my younger self something. It'd, it'd be just go for it, man. It'd be go for it. And why, why, why I say that? Because I, my younger self being young, I was talented in so many things, but I never like really like stuck with one. So if I could tell myself something, just go for it, man. Go for it with, with you, with, with, whichever, whichever route you want to go, just go with it, man. And you, you, you'll be, you'll be there. So I gotta say I'm not. Yeah, I'm still living, so I ain't. It ain't never over. Right. <laughs> I don't play like that. Man. Oh, yeah, man. No, boy. Okay, my next question. Uh, since it's uh, you know you know what they call Christmas around the Christmas time, mm -hmm. a six-year-old child asks you if Santa Claus is real. What do you say? Uh, depending on um, what the child believes in, you know what I'm saying. I don't shoot down no type of dreams or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying. If he believes Santa Claus is real. I'm gonna play along with it, you know. A lot of kids do go off Santa Claus, but you know, as as black. No, if they ask you if Santa Claus real, if they if the six year old asks you, that's tough. Is Santa Claus if he, real? If he asks me that, I got to plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to. I got to. I don't want to. I don't want to be that one to do that. Man. I don't want to be the one to do that. Cause I got kids of myself, so I'm going through that right now. You know what I'm saying? They not six, but you know what I'm saying? We're going through them, them stages of who, who, you know what? We got to leave cookies for who? Who making cookies? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. So, you know, I, it's going to be what it is. But eventually they'll figure out that mama and daddy, they putting in that hard work to get, get you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. For sure, for sure. You say that at the end of the day. Definitely. Now, what, this, this next question, this next question, you, you're allowed to plead the flip on this one too, though. Come on, what? This one, what, what, what would you do if your side piece hit the lotto? Shit, she better take me with her. What's wrong with her? If anything, she better take me with her. So you got you to come too. Yeah, I'm still left. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we out. Yeah. If she hit the lot of we out. Man, we out, man. For sure. I'll be back. Can, uh, can uh, you think a man can make a woman happy without money? Hmm. I got a couple more questions for him, y'all. We, we about to have one. We about to have him questioned up, man. <laughs> he said he wanted <laughs> to get these questions. I'm shooting the questions at him, man. I don't think. To some women, money is everything. So yes, I think a man can make a woman happy without money. But there, you know, money helps. For sure. Okay. Uh, what is corny to you? Corny, that's a good word. We said that growing up. Like when, when something is uh, distasteful to us. Something that we don't like, or, you know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Something that's not to, to my liking, that's, that's corny. Okay. Uh, what's your definition of a hoe? Mm. He ain't think I have these questions coming like this, y'all. He said, he said, give him a couple questions. I got, 
I got some questions though. I had these. Far as far as the women, I don't be disrespecting women like directly. Like you might catch me say like the B word. You might catch me say the, like the B word in a, in a song or something. But like, what's a what's a a, a hoe a hoe? I guess it's a garden tool. But if we're talking about the the woman, it's just selling yourself short. I guess you know what I'm saying. Putting yourself out there more than you should. Like all women should respect themselves and they should be queens. And I don't think they should talk about the double standard stuff. No, if a if a man is a dog, let him be a dog. A woman shouldn't be a dog. But I guess a B word. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy how it go, bro. It's crazy how it go. But you know, uh, a hoe is not a good term to be. So you know. So what would what would your definition what would your definition of a hoe be? What would your man, I don't like talking like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like talking like that. Okay. Uh, but uh, me br being brutally honest, uh, my definition of a of a hoe is uh, just just not caring about herself and and putting herself out there with multiples. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the shortest, sweetest answer I can give. Okay. How do you put somebody in the friend zone? I friend zone all all the women that I be with. All the women, everybody's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you do it though? How you do it? <laughs> how you say, hey, that, uh, you know I think that we. How you do it? Um. I mean, how I come off, period, I, 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 I'm a friend before anything, before I pursue anything, like even before I got in my baby mama situations and all that, yeah, I got kids and all that, we was friends first, you know what I'm saying, and everything, you know, goes off of that, you know what I'm saying, so it ain't hard for me to put somebody in the friend zone, because you're going to start there anyway, or I won't speak to you. Uh, what is loyalty to you? That's big, man. That stops a lot of heartache. That stops a lot of tears. Loyalty, loyalty is a lot, man. Loyalty is everything. Loyalty is being real, being honest, uh, knowing limits, knowing what to do, what not to do. Yeah, loyalty is everything, man. You ain't gotta be blood to be loyal, you know what I'm saying? You can be water and be loyal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, loyalty is everything, though. Okay. Now, uh, since you're under the music, is a song really bad, or you just got to hear it enough times? <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, I don't know. Yeah, is a song really bad, or do you just got to hear it enough times? Depends on the beat. A lot of stuff depends on the beat. R and B songs are a little different. It depends if you if it's rap or R and B. You know what I'm saying? It's preference, man. I'm just say preference. It's preference, man. Cause somebody can like the beat. Somebody can like the person. Somebody can like, you know, the the image. It's preference. Okay. All right, I got one more for you. One more, one more. Okay. Uh, I got two more for you. Uh, what sounds nastier, penis or uterus? What's that? <laughs> what sounds nastier, penis or uterus? Oh, uterus. The lady's funny with that penis word. That shit crazy. Uterus, coochie, you don't say coochie, I say coochie, but uh, uterus, uterus, <laughs> uterus. uterus is wild, uterus, uterus, <laughs> oh I'm man, I might have to say uterus, because I got the other one, uterus, <laughs> so hey, that's crazy. one of my favorite ones to ask, because, so crazy. when you hear a female say, 
uterus sound nice to your mind is the funniest stuff, man. It's one of my favorite yeah, ones. Yeah, though, because we, we ain't got to say pussy. We can just say uterus all day. Yeah, That's yeah. That's crazy. Well, we don't say that, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, out of all names, mom, say, let me get some of that uterus. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? What's up with that uterus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can just beat up that uterus. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a wild word. It's a wild word. And it started with a U. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say you for this one now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, um, is there anything that you would want people to know about you that hasn't been asked in these questions? Oh man, you see me, man. I play a lot, man. I'm quiet, man. I, you know, what I'm saying, I'm very talented. You know what I'm saying? Just holler at me, man. Don't don't take the resting bitch face and make it scare you away, man. I'll be chilling, man. But don't play with me. That's it. For sure. Now let them know where they can find you. Where uh platforms that you own, where they can find your music to tap in, anything that you want them to know. I'm Rob Long, you know what I'm saying? You can find me at twenty eight. Rob underscore Long on Twitter, IG, Baby Rob Long Jr., you know what I'm saying? Or you can do Rob Long with about 16 O's, you know what that's about, 16 O's. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You can find me on Instagram with that. Facebook, I'm Rob Long, that ain't, you know, as simple as that. And uh, music, Instagram, Rob Long, Baby Rob Long Jr., and uh, that's what it is, man. Find me in the hood. All that. Shh. <laughs> That'll be easy. For sure.